Caleb, why don't you lead us off? Sounds good. Um, I guess to start out, we can talk about that goal. Uh, first goal of the season for you guys. And it seemed like the way it came about was kind of perfect for if, if I understand the way you guys are trying to play, it kind of was executed almost to perfection with like those central passes um, and then obviously ending with Chicho. Yeah, no, I thought it was a really good play. Um, and, and again, I think in that part of the field, we want our tents closer together. And I think both Luna and um, Crooksy were, were involved in the play. And, and one of the things that, you know, is really important with the setup is the weight of the pass and, 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 and the, you know, the foot that he plays the pass to, I, I thought it was just all around perfect execution. And again, that's what it takes to score against a, a really, you know, staunch defense like uh St. Louis. Um, but, uh, and, and again, I think today as just from overall picture, I think on both sides of the ball, we did a really good job controlling the majority of important moments. Um, and I, I think it's a, very good performance to continue to build upon. Yeah, it's um, it's too bad you couldn't kind of uh, celebrate that goal for a little bit longer because you know five min five minutes later they counter and and it's right back uh, tied. So I guess what kind of happened there was there was there a lapse uh, in like communication the defense and what did you kind of see from that counter? Yeah, you know I, I think again I, I think looking looking at it you know I have to go back to the film but I I think we could have dealt with the the you know, Sam in, in the wide area a little bit better. Uh, you know, I think we gave up the inside channel and he took advantage of it. And he's a powerful, pacey player um, and got onto his left foot, which is, you know, this is something that, you know, we talked about and and what he brings to the game. I, I just felt like we would we should have been able to contain um, instead of trying to win the ball, um, allow our defense to get back settled so that we had better numbers around the ball. Instead, we went for the ball, got beat. And everyone's recovering towards goal and had to at a quicker clip. So I think it's just the difference between trying to win the ball and trying to contain the player to allow your defense to get back will be critical in that in that play. Cool. I'll let somebody else if they want. Trey. Hello. Uh, go ahead, uh... Carlos. Ok. Eh, Pablo, gran partido hoy del Razzle, completo de unos 90 minutos. Bueno, fue claramente superior y, y yo destaco el control del juego, que yo creo que es una de las cosas que tú batallabas en este inicio de, de, de temporada, que decías que era uno de tus objetivos y la verdad que hoy lo has conseguido absolutamente. Y, y la segunda parte, lo, la segunda mm, pregunta es el, el error defensivo. El que costó el empate porque claramente mereció ganar hoy el, el, el equipo eh, las dos cosas, el doble error bajo mi punto de vista, no solamente el que se precipitó Vera al ir a, al choque con, con, con el delantero sino que después le faltó cobertura por detrás que es algo que sé que ustedes también han estado trabajando ¿no? Sí, no, yo creo que del tema del control del partido yo creo que en el primer tiempo contra Miami jugamos con, con mucho con, con, respetamos mucho el, 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 el equipo de Miami en el segundo tiempo creo que salimos a, a buscar el juego y anduvimos bastante mejor yo creo que hoy día eh, del inicio eh, controlamos el partido de la manera que queríamos controlar eh, creamos varias opciones en frente de gol ahora la definición las decisiones que tomamos en frente de gol eso viene con un poco de tiempo Um, pero la, de, de, de los errores yo creo que hay que hay que hay momentos en el partido cuando no tiene el apoyo de los otros centrales o del medio campo donde hay que aguantar el jugador y, y comparar un poco de tiempo porque en ese momento especialmente en transición eh, 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 quieren ir rápido y nosotros te, de, deberemos en ese momento aguantar un poco más que, que el jugador juega para atrás así no podemos ubicar en, en mejores posiciones para, para poder defender como un grupo. En esa jugada fuimos a ganar el balón y claro, el, el resto del grupo está corriendo para atrás, pero tengo que ver el video para saber cómo, cómo fue, cómo estamos posicionados atrás del balón uh, cuando lo perdimos. Y también yo creo que el pase donde 
el momento donde perdimos el pase también es importante, porque si tenemos control y no hay mucha presión, tenemos, no, no podemos gastar la oportunidad de aguantar un poco más el balón y perderlo tan fácil. Y los dos son, eh, es, eh, son, son las dos cosas. El debut de Crux de eh, espectacular, ¿no? Porque bueno, se conectó inmediatamente con el equipo, ¿no? Sí, no, yo creo que no sabía cómo iba a rendir hoy, solamente porque llegó de Inglaterra antes de, antes de ayer. Pero le, le hablé esta mañana, estaba listo, quería, quería entrar en el partido. Y yo creo que es muy importante de, con, con los dos 10 que tenemos, que normalmente la de, tendencia es ir a buscar el balón siempre. Y con un jugador de experiencia sabe cuándo necesita a tirarse para atrás para ayudar a construir, pero lo más importante es que siempre pica el espacio por atrás, porque ese es el, el juego que está jugando. Y yo creo que él lo hizo perfecto hoy día, y claro, con, con más entrenamiento con el grupo y como, y como se va entendiendo con los compañeros, yo creo que es un posición y jugador clave para, para el grupo moviendo para adelante. Gracias. Go ahead, Isai. Hola, Pablo. Eh, oye, quería preguntarte un poco con respecto a, a Enelli jugando hoy de volante. Eh, la temporada pasada, de hecho, yo siempre había mencionado que era una tarea difícil para ti el saber si jugar con Hidalgo o con Enelli, porque son dos jugadores que en la, en la lateral derecha tienen mucho talento. Pero, ¿crees que vas a seguir utilizando a Enelli de volante en los siguientes partidos? Mira, eh... Le, le, le puse al, al Nelly en este partido más por, por el contrario o sea porque en, 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 sabemos que el estilo que quiere jugar la habilidad de estar concentrado eh, para pelear para la segunda pelota en este partido porque dan pelotazo y, y rebota el balón y necesitamos jugadores muy enchufados en esa manera para aguantar un poco más el balón yo creo que para mí jugó el mejor partido en su carrera profesional en el Nelly, manteniendo el balón, moviendo el balón, eh, robando el balón, eh, concentración. Y ahora tenemos cuatro jugadores para, para esos dos espacios, o sea, esos dos puestos. Y, y para ser un, un gran equipo necesitamos competición. Y, y yo creo que para mí es, es una cosa donde... Siempre le da oportunidades a todos y el que está jugando de, de, en el mejor nivel debe ser el jugador que, que, que juega porque queremos ganar como un equipo. Y para mí, como dije, el Enelli jugó el mejor partido de su carrera. En el tema de presión en cuanto al gol, eh, creo que lo habían mencionado un poco en la pregunta en inglés, eh, creo que el momento para que llegara el gol fue un poco desesperante para los jugadores. Estaban buscando oportunidades, buscando. Llegó el gol ya un poco tardío, pero creo que se suelta una gran presión por parte del equipo al no haber anotado gol contra eh, Miami y en todo el primer tiempo contra San Luis. Sí, sí no, tienes razón. Yo creo que para el equipo y también el, el Chicho, porque el Chicho también, siempre cuando cambia la, la sistema, a veces hay, hay duda, especialmente en frente del arco. Eh, y cuando mete el primer, el primer gol, ahora empieza la creencia del grupo va, va a seguir creciendo. Y ahora tenemos que tomar mejores decisiones porque llegamos varias veces, pero el último pase o la decisión en frente del arco no fue, en ese momento no fue la mejor opción. Así, eso viene con tiempo, pero lo que, que, que me da mucho orgullo es que los pibes siguieron peleando, luchando y al fin construyeron un muy lindo gol y ese, es, ese debe ser el estándar el donde queremos llegar como un equipo, que podemos... Uh, construir esos eso tipos de opciones en frente de gol y ahora con el Chicho con el primer gol me imagino que se siente muy bien y con mucha confianza y vamos a seguir para adelante Bueno, ya la última eh, la, la siguiente semana es contra el AFC Uf, un rival muy complicado al igual que San Luis, creo que fueron las primeras tres pruebas más complicadas pero es el primer juego en casa ahora el equipo tiene que jugar bien en casa, cosa que no fue muy frecuente la temporada pasada Sí, para mí es, eh, 
el, 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 como, el, como el año pasado fue dif, eh, eh, muy, eh, diferente. Tenemos jugadores diferentes, tenemos un, un sistema diferente de, de juego, eh, entrenadores diferentes y tenemos que crear nuestra identidad este año. ¿no? Y yo creo que la semana que viene vamos a mirar el video de este partido vamos a sacar las jugadas que hicimos muy bien y, y, y mencionar que este es el estándar que queremos jugar cuando no tenemos balón, cuando tenemos balón y tenemos que construir un, un, como un, un equipo nuevo este año y, y ojalá nos toque jugar bien en casa, pero más importante es sacar los resultados, especialmente en, en el primer partido en casa, porque me imagino que va a estar lleno en las canchas y queremos que la gente siguen apoyando porque estamos ganando pero también estamos jugando un buen estilo de fútbol gracias Pablo cómo no Caleb did you want to cover any of that ground Alex um, in English I'm good thank you all right thanks Pablo all right thanks guys Okay, guys, we don't have a translator, so we need to keep this to English for Mr. Crooks here, please. Lo siento. Go ahead, Caleb. Okay. Uh, hello, Matt. It's nice to meet you. Uh, congrats on making your debut tonight. Um, I understand that you got you got here from the States just a couple days ago. Um, so how, how's the adjustment been? I'm Lobo's little my dog. You, you, you dog? Yeah. Oh, it says that. Um, it came up at the top saying Lobo's AirPods. Can you hear me now? Yeah. You can hear me? Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I was just, I was just uh, going to ask you about um, what it was like to get to the States just a couple days ago and already be playing uh, in your first match. Uh, yeah, I flew over um, uh, a couple weeks ago. Um and for my visa and stuff, I had to fly back. So um, I've been doing a lot of traveling. <clears throat> I landed in my Miami, yeah, two days ago. So I feel like I've been living in airports and living on airplanes. Uh, I've done a lot of traveling, like I said, but I just wanted to get out there. Uh, I spoke to Gaffer before before the game today at lunch, and we kind of agreed that there's no point um, wasting any time. The best way to kind of find my rhythm is to, to play football. So I was happy to get on when I did. Uh, and then I guess since since this is the first time we've talked to you, um, what was your initial reaction when the opportunity to come over here to to Real Salt Lake became real? Yeah, I was um, I'm, I was pretty pretty surprised to be fair because I was expecting to go in uh, maybe in the summer transfer window. Um, it was something that me and my agent spoke about for a long time, um, but this came up and it felt like the right right time, the right thing to do. Um, I've always wanted to come over since I was 18, 19. Um, if I didn't sign professional in England, I was going to do like a college scholarship. That was kind of my plan. Um, so I've always wanted to come to the States and kind of try it. It's always been a, a dream of mine. And I'm fortunate enough that my family decided that they'd um, come with me as well. It's different when you're a young lad, 18, and can kind of do what you want. Um, I've got two kids to look after and a missus. So fortunate enough that they wanted to get on board and... Uh, We're all looking forward to, to what's going to be an exciting three years, I hope. Yeah, so now, now that you have had a, a couple of weeks here, I guess, uh, what's the experience been like so far getting integrated with the team? And what do you hope to to bring personally yourself uh, to this team? Yeah, it's been cool. It's been it's been difficult because um, obviously there's been a lot of traveling. I missed the Miami game. Uh, they came up from Portugal, so there wasn't a lot of training. So today is probably the most proper football I've played with the guys. Um But no, they're a good group, a uh, really good group. I think I need to improve my Spanish a little bit. <laughs> um, I want to try and integrate myself with all the guys as much as I can, uh, get to know them all. Um, but no, I'm enjoying it. Um, it's going to be interesting for me this season. Obviously, I'm not, I'm, I'm not really, I'm, well, I've not played any MLS games and don't know what the level or standards are like. So I'm excited. It's a, a new challenge for me. Uh, and obviously a challenge for us as a team this season to, to go as far as we can. Awesome. Uh, I'll let anybody else if they want to jump in. Alex. Carlos. 
Alex. And then yes. Uh, <laughs> football is a international or global language, no? Uh, uh, Crocs, because uh, the goal yeah. is amazing. goal. the connection between the other guys is uh, it, it's amazing goal. Yeah, it was a nice goal. Good, good team play. Uh, one touch passing. Um, I've seen already from 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 training and from the games that I've watched previously that the the guys can play. Um, obviously, Diego got the chance to play with the national team, so that obviously proves that he's got um a lot of potential. He's still young, but um I think if he applies himself in the right way, he can go a long way. Um, obviously, I think that was Chicho's hundredth goal today, which is some achievement. Um. So yeah, we've got we've got good players, and I think um, tonight shows that we're capable of playing uh, good football. Mm -hmm. Easy for you to accomplish things for the the new uh, uh, team, uh, the new soccer and the new uh, um, ambient and feel. All is new for you, no? It's not easy. Yeah, of, of, yeah. Every, everything everything's new. Um, new teammates I'm still trying to find out like what, what runs they make what kind of players they are what they do what they do what they don't do um, but it's up to me to find that out and, and work with them and, and, and find out ways to win games um, but fortunately enough in my last club we kind of played a similar a similar formation and I played in a similar sort of position so um, that was that, that makes it maybe easier for me to transition into, into this new new team and new league thank you Inside. Hi Matt, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, I know next week it's going to be the the first your first home game. Uh, how excited you are to meet the fans? Yeah, of course, massive. Um, I'm looking forward to being part of of Salt Lake. It's uh, it's something that I'm looking forward to. New new home ground for me. Uh, I, I have been to the stadium. Uh, it's beautiful with the the mountains there. Uh, um, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, we can make it a bit of a fortress this season and win plenty of games there. Yeah, the mountains are are really beautiful, as you said. Um, <laughs> yeah, the the connection in the goal. Uh, I need to tell you with the, between you and Luna and Chicho were really good. Uh, during the trainings, you try to play like those kind of plays, or today were just natural. The today was just that I've not I don't think I've trained with Diego or Chicho yeah so that was kind of my first first time with the guys uh, playing I've I don't I've tra I trained in California but they were they were like on a on a region day so um, yeah that was my 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 first day with them and it just just seemed to happen I guess <laughs> Chicho was there and I played in the ball and needed the rest uh, wasn't there wasn't much for me to do it was all old Chicho really. Hey, thank you and congratulations for your debut. Thank you. Anything else for Matt? For Tree, I should say. Crooksy. All right, we're good. Okay, guys, we'll have a Mecca and Chicho momentarily. Thank you. Okay, guys, we got a jam for the bus, so this will be pretty quick, but uh, go ahead, Caleb. Hello, Mecca. Uh, congrats on um, the, the draw and a pretty solid performance from you. I think um, your coach, Pablo, called it the best performance of your career so far. Uh, so what, what is your reaction to that statement? Um, Pretty excited with that, pretty happy with that. I think I would agree with it as well. You know, I think... I think I think I've come a long way just from last year, you know, in my in my play and my style of play and how comfortable I am. And so for Pablo to say that as well in this game, um, it just means a lot to me. And hopefully it's just something I can build on as the season continues. And then uh, what was it like in a game like this where, you know, it was scoreless for so long um, and then it ends in a draw as well? It just kind of felt like there were there was it was a defensive matchup for a lot of the time. Do you feel like you kind of thrive in those types of matchups though? Um yeah, I think I think possibly. And I think I think playing away and playing at a place St. Louis as well, the way they try and play is really, you know, kind of direct and 
you know, you have to fight for second balls, you have to win duels. And if you can do that, then you can control the possession a little bit better. And I think we did that really well today. So I think um, the whole team, you know, as a whole, just winning second balls, winning duels allowed us to then gain the ball high up the field and kind of keep them pinned in, especially in that second half and then create some, some good chances. And then lastly, a couple of milestones tonight. It was obviously the, the debut for Matt Crooks. Um, and he mentioned that he hadn't really trained much with you guys at all, but that he had the assist on Chicho's goal, which ended up being Chicho's 100th goal. So I'm just curious what kind of your thoughts are playing with those two players, Matt, obviously very recently, but a little more experience with Chicho. Yeah, no, I mean, just fantastic players. Obviously I remember when Chicho first came in last summer, uh, I think I got asked a similar question, what, what it's like. And it was just been a, like a week or two. And like, you know, already has loads of talent, but also the workload, the work ethic that he puts in is, is amazing. So when you have a player of that, that caliber also putting in the work ethic, I think it just raises the level of everyone around them. And then Crooksy, um, you train with him a little bit in Portugal, only a couple sessions, only a couple sessions back in Salt Lake, but you could obviously see the talent he has obviously coming from Middlesbrough as well. And he's a great player as well. And also just a great mentality. Um, I think very experienced as well. So, which could help, which could help our group too. And, um, Obviously, we saw his assist today, loads of talent. He finds pockets of space really, really well, even just for the short amount of time um, I've played with him. And I'm um, excited to see how, how the rest of the season goes. Awesome. Anybody else from Mecca? Congratulations, Mecca. Uh, I, I think it's the, uh, the the same opinion that, that you, your coach is, is the, the best game in, in with Real Salt Lake. For you to tonight, especially I I, I love the because it's, it's especially aggressive in 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 your play no in tonight especially aggressive in in not only to play to backs you know play in front with the in connecting with the other guys no yeah I think um I think that's something that um I've kind of tried to work a little bit this preseason I think I know. Nate especially has been pretty helpful with it, but I think he's told me a couple of times throughout the preseason to kind of, you know, use my dribble a little bit more to break some lines. And I think when I take some if it's the right time to do it, to take a couple extra touches to, you know, break that first line of pressure, then it it allows me to see other passes. You know, it allows other pockets of space to open up. So I think I I did that really well today. And I think just continually, you know, working on that body shape, checking my shoulder. And then know when I'm able to drive and take a couple extra touches to to beat the first line of pressure to then play to our tens, play to our wingers, play straight to Chicho. Um, something that went well today and that I've definitely <clears throat> been working on in preseason. And it's been always been on my mind in preseason and something that I want to continue to get better at throughout the season. Mm -hmm. Early tonight, you uh, gave me from the in the um, in the eleven uh, to start. All, all the game, man. Huh? You said what? Que probably, ¿cómo se dice Caleb? Que no me acuerdo en en inglés el el titular, el ser el 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 once titular en el equipo que se lo ganó hoy, porque decía Pablo que iba a ser el el once titular, ¿no? Que va a estar de titular. A, a starter. A starter, yes. Um, yeah. For the rest of the season, maybe you're the starter. Oh. Uh, I mean, it's a long season, obviously, as you know. So I think just hopefully if I continually continue to put in the same work I did today, you know, put it in every single training session and then, um, you know, continue to work hard and just build off of this game, especially. Um, it's something that I would love to do, hopefully play as many games as I can. And uh, that that's my goal for this season. So definitely. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. Sorry to cut it off. We can't get to Chicho tonight, but uh, we train at 11.30 Tuesday in Harriman, and we'll make Chicho and everybody else available uh, as long as you are available. Thank yeah. you. Peace Thank and honor Chicho. <laughs> thanks, Mecca. Thank you. Thank you.